It's the morning of day 12, and last time around we were over there, where you just saw all those uh, things, if you saw very quickly what I was looking at. A bunch of, um, hmm, there's a truck over here. A bunch of uh, towery things. And I see what looks like a, like a little electrical or a substation over here. Let's go check this out right quick. I saw something else down the other road too. I think that's why I just kind of started turning there. We'll check this trash bag, see if we got anything good. We found a bunch of stuff on the last one. Uh, we've actually been out and about for quite a while at this point. Let's take a look at the map. So if we keep going, we can arrive at New Richland. But I kind of think we're going to have to head back to base here soon. So maybe it'd be a better play to just turn around and... Oh, hello. I wonder if that's a rare one. It's white or gray instead of... Oops, my bad. Brown. Interesting. Uh, we'll just go ahead and kind of start heading back north-ish. I mean, I realize we're now going southwest. Ooh, there's a, a truck on fire. Truck on fire. Truck on fire. Burning, burning with desire. Truck on fire. Um, you probably have no clue what I'm referencing there. That's fine. I'm not really a Hammerfall fan per se, but that song I'm pretty familiar with. Okay, come on. Ah, oh, crap. That was a total just whiff. I mean, that was terrible. I was not even ready for that. I was trying to be ultra ready, and it was not. Cannot get into that vehicle. That would be... Is there anyone around? Uh-huh. I do see someone over there. Say, that would be interesting if we could get the tractor trailer. Might have all sorts of storage in that guy. And then I think this truck will be able to check, because it has a tarp on it. We are going to need to grab some... Food and water here before too long. I mean, food we're fine for a while. Obviously, water we need to drink, but... We got a minute, so I'm not going to rush that one. Let's just stop and check our pallets here. And it looks like some more materials, but... I mean, are we at, like, double... We're at triple stacks of... Of the uh, antiseptic. I want to say we can stop collecting those. Oh, we can check this. I was just expecting that would run by. The cursor wouldn't do anything. That's a lot of bags of concrete. That's great. Excellent. I'm very pleased with that. Just learning all sorts of new stuff about what you can and cannot find in this game. What can I say? An industrial generator. Running time is approximately 230 minutes. Well, throw that thing in a backpack and call it good, dude. I already got bolt cutters in there, right? <laughs> Just making sure we didn't lose them somehow. Man. Um, here I was thinking, like, we're just going to go back with a generator. Ooh. Um, let's open this. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, six. So that's 120 slots in this guy. That's bonkers. And it gets up to speed just as fast as... Basically just as fast as the SUV. Wow, that would be spectacular to take back just for the, the storage. I mean, it's not going to be as maneuverable as the SUV because... Well, I mean, is this thing narrower? It's about the same width. Eh, this is a little narrower. I mean, I definitely have noticed the SUV being narrower than the truck we have back at said Elwood. I can't remember the names of these places. Yeah, Elwood. So I don't know. That would be kind of cool to take that back though, just to have a truck with a just boatload of storage. That sounds fantastic to me. Ah, this is not good. I did not manage these guys well. Okay. We'll just go ahead and bust two of these. I don't even want to mess around. Not messing about. Make sure we're good. Um, yeah, we don't need the antiseptic, although we're about to use some, potentially. Hey, look at that. I can jump through the window. Oh, there's a, a safe right here. You are a standard lock. That's kind of disappointing, but that's fine. Um, right there. 
right there. Here we go. Hey, look at that. That's a boatload of cash. We can probably still drop that in here, right? 10,838. Excellent. Then we'll check these crates here. I see an axe container on the wall. Um, hmm. I mean, I guess we can take that. I know I'm I'm running the thought of like what would it take to drive two vehicles back to base? It's probably unrealistic at this point. I mean, the better play would be to find a beater car that we can take from nearby the base and then drive that out somewhere to find a different vehicle and take that one back to the base so that we have you know whatever it is we're looking for whether it's that gigantic truck or something else. Go ahead and drink this guy. We're going to end up... Oh, look at that. We had space. I'm so used to, as soon as we drink or eat anything, it just immediately falls to the floor. I'm like, huh, eh, okay. We'll just pick it up off the ground. But that's good. That works for me. Bear trap. Um, That's interesting. I kind of want to play with one just to see what happens. Use them on a zombie. See how much they like getting bear trapped. Was there someone over there? Okay. I thought I saw a Zom. I think it was just a gas thing or something. Okay, bolt cutters. Bolt cutters like crazy all of a sudden now. I feel like we haven't been finding bolt cutters, or if we were, I was just ignoring them, not knowing there's some free strength that we needed them. And then uh, there you go. Search the gas pump here so we can get... Hmm, there you go. There's some fuel. We'll take it. Throw it in right there and call it good. I guess we'll check this one, too. I don't know that we have much space. I mean, really, we kind of need to go see a trader to get rid of a couple of things. Uh, but this is fine. I'm a little concerned, if I remember correctly. I'm trying to pull this out of my brain. We were over here. There's going to be bandits over here. And uh, they're going to be back if they're around. Because, yeah, see, there's the fire right there. That's... That little fire tells you that they're bandits. I have kind of learned that. And if we pull out the binox here... Yeah, they're active. I don't really want to mess with them, and they will just basically destroy the crap out of this vehicle if we drive by them. Like, if we're too close to them that they can see. So, I'm going to try to swing wide. We've already kind of, you know, gone through that encampment. So I don't feel a burning need to, to fight them again. Even though I know there's going to be a boss bandit there, or at least that there's a, a chance that there could be a boss bandit there. I don't really feel like farming them at this point. For whatever reason, I'm just trying to be like, nah, I'm not going to just farm everything because, you know, I restarted the game. I don't know, that just... It's never really been my style to repeatedly farm... POIs and games, at least not without, you know, some, some time in between. Like, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you and say I've never farmed a location again. I mean, like MMOs especially, like, that's, <laughs> that's what you do. And I guess in a way this is more like an MMO in the sense that you have a, a limited map from the standpoint of it's not a random gen map with tons of things everywhere. This is a crafted world, so to a certain degree, that does make sense to me, but um, I'm just still going to hold off. Hope you understand. We can always come back another day if I remember that they're here or something. And besides, I'm, I'm sure we'll shoot. I'm sure we'll find... Ugh. I don't think we have room. I mean, I guess we could move that guy and that guy and then... That gives us space right there. Anyway, I don't know, whatever. Just set that conversation aside. We'll revisit all that stuff another time. We don't need to worry about it and get into it right now. We've already kind of talked about that before anyway. So let's go ahead and get back to our vehicle. I wonder if we can get into this guy. I'm assuming, by the way, that the store, I guess I should go look. I was assuming that the store is going to be like food, water, that sort of stuff. I shouldn't assume, because it could be something else. How you doing? I mean, I guess we want alcohol. 
Need to make some more Molotovs or something. Um, bandage. Okay. That was not food and water. So I guess maybe... Well, okay, there's food and there's water. Not necessarily in that order. And there's more food. And I assume this will be more water. Some milk in here. Ah, no milk. And an empty canteen. Okay. So I'm going to call this good enough. I'm not going to stop and check all the counters. I am kind of watching the clock a little bit here. Can we get in this vehicle? No. I'm really a little disappointed that the Winnebago doesn't hold more storage than that big rig. I mean, dang. Or at least closer amount. Got another building up ahead. I see zombies. Actually, I want to stop and check out this Hummer anyway. This Humvee. Oh, look at that. We can actually get this thing. One, two, three, four, eight by ten. So that's an 80. I mean, it's basically the same... <laughs> it's the same speed as the SUV, I think. Oh, this thing turns like a boat. I mean, it's kind of cool. I like it, but it's also super wide. Look at this. Excuse me. Coming through. Man, the thing I like about the SUV is... Yeah, see, this is much less of a boat. Is that it turns... It turns reasonably well for its size. It's reasonably fast. And it has a decent amount of storage. It's kind of like the ultimate average vehicle. I mean, I guess if we knew we were going somewhere like, uh, you know, we're not going to be driving through a town, so to speak, then, you know, one of these other larger vehicles would probably be a good one. Just because, you know, you're going to have a lot more, a lot more storage space. It makes a lot of sense to me. But since I'm not entirely sure where we're going at the moment, I'm just kind of like, well, I guess we'll just roll with what we have and uh, call it good enough for now. Here, let's go and move some bandages up to there. We'll put those guys there. Although I think we can, maybe we can put those things on the thing from the thing. I don't know. All right, we are almost out of bandages. So the next time we go through another stack, we're going to have to make sure we... Make some more. This looks like a, uh, a self-storage area or something. Okay, I'm just going to take one swing at each of you to finish you off. A couple swings for everyone and then, like, you each get knocked down a little bit at a time. I know I hear someone. There you are. Officer, I'm just fine, but thank you for checking on me. Maybe it's more like a warehouse or something. We can't get in, though. I did not see a door, right? I didn't see a door. So maybe we can get in from up high? Okay, we've definitely got a ladder over here. Or a staircase, rather. A ladder. A ladder, he says! Take all those things. Take all those things. Uh, the rest we can leave. That's fine. Got a locker over here. Whether it needs wire cutters or lock uh, bolt cutters, not sure which. Either way, I'm good with this. A compass. <laughs> well, it's 75 bucks. I'm not going to complain. Let's see if we can get some materials out of the junk pile. Hmm. I mean, the vehicle repair kit, not bad, I guess. Well, there's some room in there. We'll throw it in there, and then we're going to run out of space, and I'm going to be like, well, I guess the vehicle repair kit's got to go, or just got to go use it right quick. Maybe more likely. Molotov? Uh, can we not? Wow, there's still an, a leftover Molotov. Okay, well, throw that in the backpack. I thought we just went from three to four, but there was one still there. Maybe not. More batteries. We'll take those guys. So this does get us onto the roof, but we cannot get down. We can't get inside. Uh, I need to do a little experimentation because I'm not sure how far you can fall in this game without taking damage. 
So I'm just going to jump off the roof. Oh man, I wouldn't mind the metal fence. We don't have room for it, so I'm just going to call it good. Uh, can we... I don't see anything else up there, right? And there's no staircase up. So we'll just go ahead and run off the edge here. Okay, no damage. I didn't think there would be, but I, I don't know. I mean, I gotta, I gotta find out, you know? These are some of the things I still just don't know. It's kind of crazy I don't know that at this point in the game. You know what? Can we drive this one at all? No, okay. I was thinking probably not since, you know, it has like the doors all open and stuff. But I don't know. We'll just keep moving on. We'll ignore the van here. Although, actually, I do want to kind of check the van. Never mind. Um. I hear it. I hear all of it. I'm going to guess that survivors, since it's near a church. Oh, there we are. We can see him now. Hmm, that might not be. They may not be survivors. They may be bandits. Hmm, okay. I don't want to get too close with the vehicle because they'll start shooting at it and that'll be a problem if they are bandits. But at the same time... Got to be in a spot where we can, uh, you know, approach safely. Yeah, I'm not sure. Here, let's get a little closer. I mean, they're wearing a helmet. I think it might be friendlies. Just because they're by a truck? Bandit boss, no. Okay. Um, I don't think we've been seen just yet. The bandit boss is so confused. I think most of the bandits have been killed at this point by the zombies. I think we're out of range, or the tree is in the way. Ow. Oh. Okay. I'm assuming with all the noise everyone has made to this point, that if there are zombies around, well, they've already been around. I mean, I guess that's not entirely true, because here comes one. All right, well, this at least gets us a second bandit boss. Oh, hi. It's tough for me to tell who's friendly and who isn't, which I guess that's, you know, the point of the game, right? You shouldn't know. It's kind of funny because it seemed like for a while when I was initially just starting, like everyone had a mohawk or something, and that was kind of how you knew. Like, oh, it's old mohawk. Yeah, you're, you're a bad guy. But these guys, um, not necessarily as obvious every time, at least. So, Undead Shambler will take your money. That's good for me. Take... Okay, let's get behind the tree here. There you are. Okay. Let's see if we can move up a little bit. I thought that was a good shot. Poke your head out. I mean, at this point, if you want to do it like this, um, okay. I don't know what's happening. I tried to pull out the shotgun. I tried to lift it. I tried to pull the trigger and it didn't. There we go. See, it fell on the ground. That's what I'm used to. I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. I'm not going to argue with it. I don't care. 
Let's check this emergency drop. Let's see what we got here. A bear at 50 cal mag. So that tells me that, oh, razor wire. I think we were looking at that on a previous one. Got a vector mag. Uh, sure. Um, nope. Try that again. And then we got some 308 rounds, a PU scope, some razor wire. I really would like the razor wire. We were kind of looking at that on a previous one, and I was curious about all things razor wire. We don't have any room for anything. Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I mean, I guess we can go use... We can go use some fuel on the vehicle, because we need to refuel anyway. It's been getting pretty low. So here, we'll just go ahead and refuel. Uh, there you go. It's not going to help us out with storage, though. We're still going to be low on storage. And then here, let's just open storage in here to see what we've got. Can we stack tents? Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, we can make that work then. So here, we'll go back to the drop in just a moment. I'm not as worried about the razor wire. I imagine we can make that anyway under normal circumstances. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. Now let's put you in there. And then we need to take this guy out here. And let's drag some ammo into you. Nope. No, nope, still doesn't work. Okay, that's fine. Not going to worry about it. Don't overthink this. Just load it. Call it good. And then I want to move that guy down there because we don't need to have that where it is. So that leaves us with a pretty good chunk of ammo. I mean, it's another 50 rounds. I don't know that we have any more in here. I think all of our nine is in inventory. Oh, no, there's 11. Okay, perfect. Band of Boss, what you got? More nine. Another FOB Bravo card, some rad pills, and some 556. All right, so let's check out the drop again, because we can make this work. It's going to be ugly, but we can make it work. There you go. That fits just like so, and uh, I think, well, I guess we can go ahead and come over here. Well, we don't need that one. We need, we need this one. And we'll see if there's anything else around here worth checking out. I mean, these crates could be good. We got two different crates. Could be some good stuff. Sure, take the blade. Cabinets. I always like checking cabinets in seven days to die, because you never know when they might have some ammo in them. Oh, increased thief. Not entirely sure what that means, but we'll do it. Six by eight, and that's a four by four, so same with one as what we already have. Got a safe. A little worried about what could be in there. We don't really have room, you know? Take the rock. I don't think we have room for any more compasses. Yeah, okay, we do. I lied. I lied. All right, let's check this guy. This is a master lock. I think we're close. I can't tell if that's getting worse or better. That's better. We're very close. Too far. So, there? No. Still need to go further. There it is, right there. Okay. Wow. So, what do we have now? Four credits and just under 13,000 bucks. Dang. I am not unhappy with that. That is great. That is really good news. Still trying to get back to base at this point, though, so let me put a, um, a marker there. And we'll see if that shows up. I know it's the same as the other marker, so it's not really super duper handy. Um, can I get rid of that and then maybe do one of these? There we go. That'll work. So we're looking for that guy, the one with the arrow. That'll that'll be the one we're looking for. I kind of just want to plow through here and get to the base and call it good because we are so full on inventory. I mean, it, it just it's hilarious to me. We get 
we get more stuff and then I'm like, okay, we're in a good spot. And then we get more stuff. And, you know, it's just this constant thing of getting more and more stuff. These look like bandits to me. Let's get over to the side of the road where we can have... Oh, this is not good. I want the high ground, not the low ground. Oh, and it's so dark. It's so dark. Let's pull out the uh, silenced pistol. Yeah. See? Bandits. Bandits. I can't even tell if I'm getting the shot off or if I'm just missing. Okay, I don't know what's happening. Uh, I need to stop doing that. Let's use that guy. Oh, I need to I need that out again. Okay, and then this guy. I think we're running out of those. Um I'm really confused here. I don't know why my weapon is not shooting. Why don't I do the shooty shoot? No, wrong one. Use that. Oh, I don't understand what's happening some of these times. Like this gun, I know. This one is loaded. So why that one is not firing? Just not waiting long enough, I guess, when I'm trying to pull the weapon out. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Here, let's go ahead and make a couple more bandages. And then we're going to have to pick them up off the floor here somewhere. There they are. I have no idea where the rest of these guys died. Well, I mean, I can see some of them. Wow, you dropped an M2010 mag. A legendary one, no less. Dang, man. Uh, well, here, let's drop that battery since I'm not even going to worry about it. We have so many of them, it's fine. I think maybe there was another body over here. I totally lost track of whether any of them are bosses or not. You're a rusher, so we'll take the 556. I don't need your pistol. That's fine. And then we'll check this guy over here. Rusher. Um, varmint rifle. Okay, yeah, we don't need that. That's fine. So I think we're okay to keep going up the road. I'm pretty sure we got everyone's attention who was over here. If not, well, we should have. We made so much noise. Um, there's another bandit enclave over there. You can see the smoke. We're going to ignore that because it's just really getting to the point where it's clear to me we are just so overloaded with stuff. we got to go drop off some of these things, like, really and truly. Got a gas station right here. Lots of Zeds around. And we're going to just have to cut through the wilderness a little bit to get back to base, because I'm not willing to go the long way. But I do want to just kind of pay attention. we got a clinic over here. That could be a good POI. So that's kind of right by where we're going through. So we're going to be cutting through right here. I don't know if that was if there was someone by that vehicle or not. I didn't pay close enough attention. I was mainly just trying not to run into something. I don't know if we have... I guess we could go by the safe zone right quick. I mean, uh, we are right here. It's not really that far out of the way. And I think we do have a couple of things we can sell just to, you know, free up a little bit of inventory. This is not the best way to get there at night. Can't see anything, even with these headlights. I need some uh, brighter headlights or something. I think we'll be able to just use this to get out of here, and that'll be fine. You see, do we have any... Nope, don't do that. We don't really have anything in the vehicle to sell. So here, let's get in here. All right, so we are now in the safe zone, which is good. I'll head for that. All right, weapon trader, um, what do you got? 
got a lot of nine. That's not bad. I think we might have grabbed some things to sell. Like, I still don't know if I want to sell that Mosin or not. Well, shoot, maybe we don't have anything to sell. I was thinking we did. Uh, it's basically all... All stuff we want, I think. I mean, that... Uh, good grief, man. So we got the Sega... Magazine. And the Sega itself. I guess we can just stop and see if... Anyone has anything we want. Ammo, ammo, ammo. I mean, ammo's good. Okay, what do you got? Oh, uh, here, I know we have a compass to sell, so we can sell you that. Filters wouldn't be bad. I would take a filter if they want to sell us one, but... Doesn't look like anyone has a filter. Books Trader. Not gonna worry about those. All right, Clyde. I think we're... Oh, you're a wandering trader, but you do have stuff to sell. So you got a 556 suppressor for three credits. That might be worth it. M2010 Enhanced. That's what we just found the rifle, or the uh, magazine for. The new sniper rifle on the block. A battle-ready Glock. It looks like it's silenced with an extended magazine already. Can we inspect that? Mm, it doesn't show that it has a silencer, but that's interesting. It sure looks like it has one. 25 credits, 35 credits, 45 credits. These things are very expensive. Like, I bet it has the scope, it's just built in, and you can't remove it. And the same with this guy, it has the... the, uh... silencer on it. Okay, here's the thing. I want this silencer. So we gotta make some space here. There we go. There we go. All right, we are going to put this bad boy on immediately. Uh, no, don't do that. Inspect. Put that guy on there. That's going to reduce body damage, headshot damage a little bit. But this thing is now almost entirely fully kitted out. We just need a stock on it, I think, is all that's missing. And then we're good. So that goes through almost all of our credits. But I think that's going to be worth it in the long run because... I don't know, I mean, I just I think that's going to be worth it in the long run. So we should have an empty magazine lying around somewhere. I have a feeling the game dropped it. Oh no, it's right here. Okay, phew. I, I take it back. I just kind of thought the game was going to drop it or something. That's fine. That works for me. Okay. So we got a silenced 556, which I think is going to give us a tactical advantage that, um, quite frankly, we can use at this point. Especially since we've run into a lot of bandits in the last couple of days. I'm a little concerned about any sort of uh, long-winded, protracted battles with them. Oops. I don't know where I'm going. I'm trying to follow this path, but it's so stinking dark. The headlights are not that great. I need an off-road headlights kit or something. That would be fantastic. I mean, it looks like it has them, but it doesn't use them, apparently. So it is what it is. We're coming around to the back side of the mall, so once we reach the mall, we know where we are, and that's fine. We can just go ahead and keep on trucking around, and then this is going to swing around to the right. We have our little makeshift base that we're no longer using right there. And we just gotta head up here and hang a right, and I'll meet you. Shoot, I'm a little concerned about seeing gunfire. I'm just gonna cut through and hope that they are friendlies. Crap. They don't look very friendly, but I'm just going to drive through and not worry about them. My bad. Oh. Alright, well, that was actually fine. <laughs> There are a lot more bandits around. I wonder if that's just intentional, and you know, that's the way it goes. The game is slowly ramping up the difficulty, and we got bandits everywhere. We know those are friendlies, but there are bandits about, and these guys, gr <laughs> they glow very nicely so you can see them at night. You gotta love that. I appreciate them. That way there's no confusion that, oh yeah, there's green guys right there. 
All right, let us sneak through into the parking lot of our our base. That neon cactus freaked me out. I won't lie. I saw that and I thought, how did a green guy get into the base? I mean, did you see that? Look at that. Holy crap, dude. Yeah. That was not, not nice. I should not have placed that thing. <laughs> uh, free gun. I mean, it's free money. Well, I'm going to be spending the next um, quite some time here, I think. Because I need to unload stuff. I need to do all the things. And I will rejoin on the next one probably late into the morning, just out of guess here, because we need more storage. We need all the things. In fact, I need to take the storage off of the truck to be able to, to make this work, because these guys don't go into here. It's very frustrating. None of these do. The bolt cutters don't even go in there, and it's a tools cabinet. Whatever. We'll catch up on the next one. Until then, thanks for watching. See you later.